Hello. Hey guys. So we got the new phone in and we got a gimbal and a wireless microphone. So this way the video should be a little more stable and the audio quality should be a lot better for both of us. And then we're filming in 4K in 60 frames. So it should look and sound a lot better. So today we're going to be filming a vlog of some educational videos we're going to be filming. So this is kind of like a behind the scenes of that. But we just want to share our day with you guys. So we're going to be watering our 16 strawberry buckets. And then we're going to be setting up a new 8x8 tent. And we might even put some of these seeds down here. Let's see if I can, I'm getting used to this. Some of these new seeds in that tent today. <laughs> Regardless. Um, my parents are coming tomorrow and I haven't seen my mother and my father in three years so we're getting the house ready so at the end of this vlog we might be in the basement cleaning a little bit. That off. And then the pumps gotta get turned off too because they're really loud. And then the and giant the carbon filter. Now you can hear us. All right, so it's been five weeks since I put these strawberries into the bucket and I haven't watered them since. We're gonna water them today because their Rockwell cubes are starting to dry up. Since it's been so long, the water's starting to get a little bit below the net pot and it just doesn't circulate up to the top the greatest. It's not like the roots have trouble training lower in the bucket and you could train them lower. This is just how I wanna do this. I started them at 1.5 EC since they were a clone Typically with seedlings, I do like one EC, but I know that strawberries don't drink a lot and that a clone is a little more mature than a seedling and it can take a little more nutrients. You can see we have flowers on them already. So I'm gonna bring them up to 2.1 EC today. Hopefully we're just gonna make a batch of nutrient water and fill her all the way up. And we'll just test it back out to see what that comes out to. And you can pick off your flowers if you want the plant to get bigger. You can see that one in the back is kind of smaller because it's flowering. With indoor hydroponics, since we're controlling the environment, we can make the plant think it's the same time of year all the time. So there's no rush for me to like pick the flowers off. Where outside I might want to because I only have so long of a growing season. I control the temperature and the light schedule to make them think that it's always the same time of year. So I keep it at 71 degrees because most strawberries will flower below 80 and down to 54, they'll flower more as it gets colder a little bit, depending on the cultivar, because you can have a short day, long day, or a day neutral strawberry, depending on the cultivar. So day neutral doesn't care how long of a schedule you give it. Long day wants more than 12 hours and short day wants less than 12 hours to flower. So this specific cultivar, if I give it longer than 12 hours, it will never flower, which is how I got all these clones. I can show a video of the strawberry plant I originally started with. I grew it for over a year and it never flowered because I gave it 12-12. So because I give it eight hours in a cold temperature, they flower right away like you see. So we're gonna mix up some nutrient water, add it and test it to show you guys and see what it comes out to. So I got my mask and gloves. You don't wanna to touch it and you don't wanna inhale it. It's just not the greatest idea. So I got a lot of questions on what fertilizer I use. I use a veg bloom bundle. I'm not gonna go into detail on everything. I have separate videos on how to grow a hydroponic bucket from start to finish. And if you wanna know each individual product, I do have an Amazon affiliate link down below for all the products that we use. Um, we do earn commission from any sales, so I greatly appreciate it. But there you can see in detail literally everything I use and their safety data sheets are on their website if you're concerned about the health risk of them and being around them. That's why I like to wear the mask and gloves. Um, they just say don't inhale on them. It's not like they say wear mask and gloves, but I just like to go that extra step. And then I use HydroGuard. I don't want to bore you guys with the educational stuff too much. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I want to do a Q&A separately. So I'm just going to mix some up in my five gallon bucket and add some water. I mix in the middle of what they recommend. All right, so I mixed up all the nutrients in the plant bucket and I let it settle. It's been a couple minutes so I can have the mask off. 
I let all the soot go to the bottom of the bucket because I don't change the reservoirs in any of my hydroponic plant buckets, which is a little different than what the industry does. And I believe letting the soot settle to the bottom of the bucket helps a little bit. So it just in keeping the environment like a little fresher. Extendo tube and an old plant bucket on a table so that the water stops at a certain point so the soot at the bottom of the bucket doesn't go through. And then I'm able to reach like all my plants with this tube. So we're just gonna water everybody up all the way to full. And then we're gonna go around and pick any runners and old, small, dying, dead leaves, maybe like this. But I already got a bunch of them. And I'm gonna leave flowers. And yeah, we'll test this out and see what it gets to so I can tell you guys where we're at. All right, so I watered all the buckets. It took one bucket for each row. So that's four or five gallon jugs, five weeks in. So it's not that much water. There's one bucket left. I just want to show the EC difference that's going to happen on this last one. They're all identical. So it's about 1.83. When I fill it up, I like to fill it up in between these two black lines. This one's kind of short. You can see it better on this one. Any higher than that and the clay will start to bubble up and want to overflow. 1.87. So you can see it didn't go up too much, but like I said, they started at about 1.5 and it only said 1.8 because the plant drank more than an eight, so it diluted down. So I added nutrient water, but it doesn't look like it changed too much, but it did, it maintained that 1.8 density as the bucket rose in water and added some. So don't be fooled, there's more nutrients in there. And when the water goes down and it says a higher EC, there isn't like magically more nutrients in there. It just got more dense. All right, so I probably won't have to maintenance this tent for another couple weeks, hopefully. But yeah, so that's the first five weeks, only four buckets used. So it's barely any water, super low maintenance. A lot of people think plants are a lot of maintenance and a lot of work. I mean, they are, but I haven't really touched them in five weeks, so. All right, so I mixed it up in the hallway because you don't want to mix this up somewhere where there's high humidity because it pulls moisture from the air really well and it will start to congeal and harden up and it's just really annoying to deal with then. Oh, and so what's up guys? I'm here with my beautiful mother and my amazing father. So I always had this dream of feeding my parents from my garden. So today I'm gonna give them some of my strawberries. I didn't have much to give them, but we had some pizza last night with peppers on it. It's awesome. And then we're gonna be harvesting the cauliflower soon and some basil. So I'm gonna try to feed them as much as I can from my garden, but I'm just gonna get them tasting the strawberries right now. And then there's Fetty. <laughs> so everybody got their strawberry. We only got three today. Just wanna get a taste test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fresh. How many bites can you take? Like one bite. <laughs> I like steak too. It's okay. good. <laughs> Good, nice, sweet, very good. Thank you, I appreciate you guys trying it. Smile.
<laughs> yeah, we can go on it, Jake. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> If you made it this far into the vlog, I greatly appreciate it. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be putting out strictly educational videos on how to grow hydroponic strawberries from start to finish. I just wanna film some vlogs of our life and our day in the process of doing that. So I greatly appreciate it, you guys making it this far and happy Easter, cause I'm gonna be posting this on Easter Sunday.